Ladies, today I'm demoing our Polar Express page and I just want to go over real quick how to do the Believe and the snowflakes that are here. So that's what we're going to learn today. All right, here's our chipboard that we're using. And you guys can hear Bax in the background playing with his toys. And we're using two different colors of the gilding polish. One is the Frosty Sparkle Kisses. The other is the Pearl Luster Gilding Polish. Now, I've used the, this one before, which I really like, and I hadn't actually used the um, Glitter Kisses. And normally when you put this on in a couple layers, it coats it really well and it looks just like it does in the container. But this is a little bit different because it's a lot clearer. So you need a base coat of something and then you brush this over the top. So if you're ever working with this one, it's never really going to come out to that color unless you give it a white base, especially if you're using this dark chipboard. All right, so we're going to take our sponges, dip them in the gilding polish, wipe as much off as possible so it's not getting in between those little details. And then just brush it on. Set that one aside. Add a little bit more. A little goes a long way here. And if, you know, this like corner and these are a little delicate, instead of brushing, sometimes I'm like doing a pat on it, I'm patting it down so it doesn't distort the shape of it with something real delicate like that. That's pretty important. So patting it like we do with the templates might be better for, um, well, it is better for something real delicate and thin. All right, so we've got those on. I'm gonna give it one more coat to make it really white and pearly. He is just going crazy back there playing with one of his new toys, which as I turned around happened to be a uh, yarn. So I've got a big mess to clean up after I'm done here. All right, those look really good. Put the lid back on this one. Make sure you always wash these, like, you know, pretty much right away after you're done with your project. If you let it dry on there, it's going to ruin that sponge. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Sparkle Kisses. Get it on there, rub it all off, and pat. And this is going to take about two coats, too. The first coat never goes on really nice. It looks really patchy. And then the second or the third coat finishes it right off. I actually did use this Sparkle Kisses on a project of my own and I really liked it. Just because I didn't want the whole thing white. So I used like a hot pink underneath and then I put the Sparkle Kisses on and it was really, really pretty. Okay, so there's that. First coat. I'm dabbing it this time. And that looks great. Put it on a dark piece of paper just so you guys can see. Okay, so that one's good. I'm gonna finish the snowflakes and then we are all set. And then we're ready to put them right on the page after it's assembled. Mm 
That one looks really good. Okay, so let's just set these on the chip so that you can see them. Let them dry for a few minutes before you turn them over. They do dry pretty fast. So 